I survived 100 days in Star Dea, so I had to deal with these creepy crawlies trying to impregnate my face. I had to deal with pirates raiding my ship trying to steal my loot. And I had to deal with an explosion of excrement. Oh, man. Okay, to start off, let's take you back to the beginning. So the story generator, we're going to go for random. We're going to go for impossible difficulty, which is on 500%. And the commitment is going to be a permadeath. That, and our ship is called the Galactican Vespa. So the initial starting crew, we've got Buttercup, who is a butler. Woody, who is a robot butler. Bop Giant, the test subject drone. Le Machine Adam, who is a drug dealing cage fighting drone. Maria Yod Henson, who is a 94 year old drug dealing dancer. We've got Jenna Poole, painter and cultist. And last but not least, we've got Maya the pig. So day one, we are loaded into the computer. So we've hooked up everything, we've rebooted all the systems and we take a look around our ship and we see, well, what's left of our ship anyway. We see a lot of it on fire, which we've got a big task ahead of us if we want to try and rebuild this ship. First thing I wanted to do was connect the computer up to the socket. So I'll move the wall socket, place it right next to the computer and then hook the battery up and connected it all to the main computer. I did notice a lot of dead corpses, dead crewmates. There was a lot of dead crawlers on the ship as well. So I decided to move them all into one space just in case any creepy crawlers did spawn from their bodies. And lucky for us, we found a teleporter which we relocated outside the status array. And we also found a table and chairs which we thought would come in handy for when we want to sit down and eat. So we placed that into our living quarters. We did find a mini planter, which we put right next to our other mini planter, which we can start growing wheat from. And there was also a sleeping pod, which was a bit battered, but we needed repairing, but we moved that anyway and decided to get to repairing that. We did find a reactor efficiency upgrade, which we installed into the matter reactor, so it would cost less steel plates to run. And finally, we can connect the status array to start the countdown for when our colonists wake up. With everything in position, they can teleport easily into the living with their area without worry of being sucked into the vacuum of space and dying. Now we just needed to connect the remaining debris to the main ship, which we got Buttercup and Woody to start constructing some bridges. And next we needed some research, a lot of research. So we needed a datoid harvester and a datoid loader and as we headed into day four i realized we had a electricity deficit so we needed some matter reactors so we built another matter reactor and started loading them with steel plates and finally on day four we could start researching so we decided to research food production, CPU and hygiene. And with these modules all researched, we decided to place a CPU down and start getting the facilities down, like a shower and a toilet. And finally, with our cooking station up, we could finally craft some survival meals for our hungry colonists. We also need a pet bowl for Maya the pig, which we filled with full of delicious protein. Next, we did a bit of research. So we got add assembly, which we could configure to start making gears. We also needed a bed for the pig. And searching through the ship, we found a particle collector, which we moved through the front of the ship. And we also found some solar panels. On day seven, we had creatures spawned from the belly of some of our dead colonists. We had five creatures on board. We couldn't let all our hard work go to waste. So we ordered our drones to get straight on it and attack. The machine took the first crawler out with a critical blunt damage to the head. Followed by Bop Giant. It was 2v1 now. The crawler tried to make a run for it, but Bop Joint and the machine continued their assault. And 
with the crawlers still alive, they were bleeding out, they were just incapacitated, and the machine and Woody euthanised them. I also set the particle collector to collect water as we were running low on water and there was no way of us gaining water at the moment. We walled in the status array as a colonist was about to awaken. We also need the repair station for our drones and bots. And then I've decided to research the winch and we spent the next day or two pulling the ship together. And finally on day 10, we got to choose who to awaken. So we had three different colonists. We had Blair Sellers, Camilla Princess Boone, or Max the dog. Blair Sellers was a homeless bookworm who's good at cleaning. Uh, Camilla Princess Boone was good at cooking. She was a pacifist and a technophobe though. So she was not very good at melee or shooting. She didn't believe in fighting. Or we could have had Max the dog. So in the end, we decided to go for Camilla Princess Boone just for the fact that she was good at planting, cooking and cleaning. On day 12, we decided to craft another room. So we decided to put some heaters down and some oxygen generators. We were going to turn this room into a crafting room. We did the research for a loom, so we placed a loom down so we could start producing clothing. And we also moved the workbenches and built a second workbench. I did the research for clothing, so now with that research I can configure the loom to start making some hats for our colonists. I also researched improved heating which I'll place a heat at in the same crafting room. On day 15, we had an incoming breach capsule about to board our ship. This was the first pirate raid that we'd had in our playthrough. And there was nothing that we could do to stop the breach, so we decided to grab all of our drones and go on the offensive or we'll wait for them to breach. Once the pirates had breached us, we decided to attack straight away. We weren't gonna wait and let them come to us. So Bop Giant and the machine flew straight over and engaged in combat. With one of the colonists down, it was 2v2 now. Both the machine and Bob Joy and continued to focus on Ruby, who was the captain. Ruby incapacitated, only one left. We needed to get Woody out of it. and Woody decided to flank the other Woody and shoot him with his handgun. On day 19, we started dismantling the rest of the ship that we didn't need because we were running low on steel plates. We also researched a storage unit and placed one of them down so we can collect all the steel plates. And some of the colonists were getting a bit freaked out seeing all the dead bodies lying around so we moved them to the back of the ship. We also researched some furniture so we placed a steel wardrobe down to house all our clothing. 
On day 21, we were alerted to a huge asteroid heading towards us, but luckily for us, it missed the whole middle of our ship and just hit the back end. It left a huge hole. And with that asteroid, on day 22, Maya Mia, the pig, went insane. She tried to calm her down by petting her. But sadly, it didn't work. She wandered out into the void and ended it. Bacon, anyone? On day 24, we had another colonist awaken, so we could choose between Joshua, the ancient one, and Birdie, who was a painter, but he was also vegan, and he was a bit of a psychopath. Estelle Heath, who was a, previously was a monk and a slave, but she was good at cooking and very sociable, or we could have had Lucy the dog. Finally, we settled on the ancient one. He teleported straight into our living quarters, and decided to rest to heal his injuries. Now we've got the research for the nutrient extractor, which we placed down and decided to get rid of all them corpses and grab ourselves some lovely protein from all them crawlers. 